Hey guys, Heather here from Tie Dyed Iguana, and today we're going to talk about what kind of plants are toxic to your animals and shouldn't be kept in their enclosures. So growing live plants in tanks is lots of fun and it makes the tank look a whole lot better. It makes it look more natural and everything, but you gotta know which plants are good for your animals and which ones can actually hurt them. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna talk about a handful of the different plants that you should avoid including in your animal's enclosure. So even though many reptiles like to eat fruit, it's not a good idea to plant any kind of fruit tree in your animal's enclosure. Uh, we're talking about big enclosures for like maybe larger tortoises or iguanas or something. But uh, yeah, try to avoid planting any fruit trees because the bark and leaves of most fruit trees are actually toxic to them. So you don't want them to be accidentally ingest something that they're not supposed to so you want to stay away from those also uh, many pits and seeds and also some of the stems of fruit trees are toxic to pet reptiles too and this also includes fruit trees like that aren't commonly thought of as fruit like avocados avocados actually have a toxic chemical called persin in their fruit their the stem and leaves and the pit and everything so you want to never plant anything that has to do with avocado in your reptiles tank. And it's also poisonous to like dogs and cats too. So you just want to stay away from those. So you might be thinking, oh, I want to make my tank look pretty. I want to plant some flowers in there. Well, there's lots of different kinds of flowers that can actually be toxic to your animal, especially if you got a herbivore and it likes to eat any type of greens or flowers. You don't want to plant the following list of flowers in your tank. We got azaleas, belladonnas, a buttercup, calla lily, easter lily, daffodil, hyacinth, iris, laurel, peony, periwinkle, poinsettias, which are also very bad for dogs and cats, uh, poppies, tulips, wisteria, ragwort. So that's just a list of some of the most common flowers you'll see out there and that you don't want to plant in your animal's tank. But this doesn't mean that all flowers are toxic. Uh, you'll, if you're interested in planting a certain flower in your animal's tank, make sure you do your research and look it up and see if it is safe for them. So now we're going to talk about a few specific plants on our list. The first one being the devil's ivy, and this also includes any other type of ivy. Devil's ivy can cause mouth and tongue irritation if the animal eats it, and it can also lead to vomiting and a difficulty of the animal to be able to swallow. So you definitely want to stay away from those. And another important one to know about, especially during this time of year, is holly and mistletoe. You definitely don't want to plant any of those in your animal's tank. The leaves and berries of mistletoe are very toxic to them. And this includes other pets too, like dogs and cats, not just reptiles. You gotta watch out for that too. Uh, they cause digestive distress. If they're eaten, it can lead to diarrhea and vomiting and it could possibly kill them. So you definitely don't want those in there. All right, another plant you might've heard about because people plant it a lot to attract monarch butterfly caterpillars is milkweed. Now they're good for those caterpillars, but they're not good for your reptile or amphibian. Milkweed produces a sap that is very irritating to the skin and the eyes. And also, if it is ingested, it can cause uh, disruptions in muscle function, including the heart. So that can definitely kill your pet reptile. So you don't want to include that in anything that has to do with your pet reptile or amphibian. Keep that out of the tank. If you want to grow it outside for caterpillars to attract monarch butterfly caterpillars and everything, Go ahead, but keep it out of your animal's tank. <laughs> and then last but not least, we're gonna talk about a type of grass that is actually bad for your animal it is called Johnson grass. So you might be thinking, oh, I wanna grow some grass for my tortoises to eat in their enclosure, maybe inside or outside. If you wanna do this, make sure you don't grow any Johnson grass. This stuff can build up toxic amounts of cyanide and nitrate in their system if they eat it. And this is super dangerous, so you want to stay away from that Johnson grass. So yeah, that is just a handful of the different plants that can be toxic to your pet reptile or amphibian. Just make sure if you want to plant something and you didn't see it on our list, just check and make sure online. You can look it up and see if it's dangerous or not. Um, like I said, this isn't a definitive list of all the different toxic plants, so there are others out there. 
This just gives you an idea of some of the more common uh, plants we see out there that people want to avoid. So we hope this video kind of helped you out in figuring out which ones are not safe for your reptiles and that you should avoid putting in your tank. And we'll see you next time.